Hello everyone, V the Amazing Greek here. Uh, I'm not trying to cover the flag up or anything like that. I simply got some new uh, netting. I've been looking for pieces of this. Uh, my local surplus store usually sells strips of it for two, three dollars. I got this whole big piece for like four or five bucks. And I just want to kind of see how it looks on, uh, on the film. So that's why that's up there. So uh, no disrespect to this flag. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you today is a new product I had gotten. I've actually had this about a week, but uh, uh, eh, shit happens. Yeah, that's all I can say. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough day today. I actually got up and uh, went to go get a pizza. Backed out of my driveway. Uh, said, oh crap, I forgot my what. I pulled right back into my driveway. Hit the brakes and my brakes, they made a weird kind of slide. And I uh, went in, grabbed my wallet, and we've had rain here, so I thought maybe I'd just haul leaves or something. And uh, come back out, put the car in reverse, and the damn thing wouldn't go. And what happened was the brake pads on my driver's side rear, the actually the glue came undone from the, uh, the metal to the pad, and I had a locked up uh, cylinder. So... Uh, I couldn't get it to come off, so I called Vonderkoff. Uh, he came over, he helped me out, found out brakes were bad, so we, I had a set that I had bought like two years ago because I thought that uh, my brakes were bad, but they were squeaking because of the dust. And uh, he said, well, just keep them, you paid for them. And then, so it didn't cost me hardly anything uh, to change the brakes. And thank you very much, Vonderkoff, for that. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, Tuesday we're going to go look at some AR-15s in a town uh, a little ways over. They've got uh, four or five different styles and uh, I've been thinking in my head it'd be nice to have a 7.62 version. Uh, we'll see. You know, I don't have the money right now, but uh, I can always save up. But that's just a little bit about my day in case you didn't have anything else to look at. Um, I picked this up about a week ago or so. Um, it's a, I don't want to say a machete, but it's a kind of a big knife. Um, this particular model is called the U.S. Sabre. Um, I knew when I picked it up that the sheath would be okay, sort of. The handle more than likely going to replace. Um, but the sheer size of it I thought would be a good tool to work with. So, uh this is the knife, stainless steel. It says here USA Saber. It's a uh, stainless steel. Um, it doesn't say where it was made, but more than likely, uh, just something coming out of China. Almost everything's coming out of there now. Uh, you have to have a pretty much a custom knife maker make their stuff here in America. Buck knives, I think, might uh, still do their stuff here. Uh, the handle is simply just. Feels like hollow plastic shells that are simply screwed on. Uh, this one had one of the cover plates missing. The other side, it's got a, it's got a little camo pattern to it. Um, this side has kind of a, I guess a, I think the number eight was a race car driver for NASCAR. He died. I can't remember his name. Earnhardt maybe. Uh, so. You know, that, that didn't have no reference for me. I, like I said, I'm not a race fan or anything, so I'm, I'm probably going to pull that, put a wood handle, and uh, but the, the blade itself, I just really like that. It's not, you know, a, I wouldn't say it's a survival knife, you know. Uh, I don't know if I would baton wood with this, uh, but my thinking was just a, a weed whacking, what does that sound? Oh. A weed whacking, just clear brush machete type tool because if you look at it in comparison with the Ontario 12 inch uh, sawback camp machete very very similar in size looks like about a inch maybe an inch and an eighth difference in the uh, blade but this has heft to it this is much lighter much lighter and for anyone who was curious, I did take this out today with the uh, new handle modifications I did to it and uh, did a little bit of chopping. Worked very well. Thank you for asking. 
Um, the blade design is almost with the curvy stuff, you know, uh, kind of fantasy-ish in, in my mind. It's not a, uh, you know, you're not going to cut nothing with that or anything like that. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on here with this. Uh, but overall, I like the way it, the forward weight of it. It's a little bit sharp. I could actually probably go outside right now and uh, chop some wood. It's nighttime, so I I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry right now. Uh, but I am going to sharpen it like I did with my one shot one kill uh, Bowie style knife. Uh, if you haven't seen, I did a video where I modified the edge on that so that it's it's sharp. I mean, this thing is sharp now. Uh, I like the way it took that edge. Um, so this only cost me like, it was listed for $9.99 in the glass display case. Uh, every once in a while you'll get lucky uh, with knives, you know, finding them in gas stations, which is where I got this. Uh, so I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, the USA Saber blade it's just it's all right like i said i'm gonna change the handle when i actually do the project where i change the handle i will show you what i'm doing um it has here a lanyard slot where you could put a lanyard in there um, like i said it's got the the racing thing i guess if you're a race fan you want to display this i mean it would look good in a display case just the way it is you know especially racing a race fan you know you're like hey uh, I, I don't want to keep saying Earnhardt, but I, I think that's the guy number eight i'm not sure um, so you know that would look good in a little thing if you made but uh, I think I think it will do well uh, matter of fact I got some we'll just see if it will cut some twine real quick just out of curiosity feels like it has an edge but it's a one of those axe type edges so okay so not so bad it's got a little bit going on there look at the thickness of it though even my fat ass I mean, that thing will, that's a poker right there. What do they call it? Arkansas toothpick, I think. You know? So, it's got some, some length to it. Like I said, my intention for this was a uh, knife you don't mind abusing a little bit. Take it out, just clear weeds out of your way, brush, uh, things like that. I'll probably use this around the house uh, versus like my, uh, I got this one. It's a kukri machete little Chinese job um, got this one for like seven dollars one time online and the sheath when I got it was already the stitching was already falling apart so I had to make a sheath for it. this isn't too bad it doesn't it doesn't hold an edge too well uh, anytime I use it and then go back out I need I gotta take a stone to it to help it out but uh, this one I'm hoping it has uh, some good use for me I guess it's called the USA Saber and uh, ten dollars, I don't think I did too bad. Um, I'll sharpen it, and then when, I, like I said, when I do the handle, I'll share that with you so I can you can see how I did that. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very simple design. Just probably, literally, I'll probably just copy this same shape since that's how the metal is. You know, it's got finger slot here. Put the rest of them in a little back stop so it doesn't slip out of your hand too bad. Uh, probably car do the wood do the same way and uh, since it's got the mounting screws I'll just have to drill a few holes and do uh, line it up when I make my wood handles and just mark those holes so that I get it right and uh, that'll give the handle a little bit more weight to it and then uh, I can put what I want on there but and there's the phone call so ten dollars and uh, not too bad. I just wanted to share that with you. So, thank you for watching. I hope you check out my other videos. I'm V the Amazing Greek, and I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your comments. Uh, not so much the bad ones, but you know, hey, whatever. You can do what you want. And uh, once again, Bonderkoff, thank you so much today for the help. Uh, and you guys keep watching. Thank you very much.